everything was European background. The upbringing, the teaching in school. Well, my father was a pastor, you know, a, mich um, a pastor. And um, everything had to be English. And everything. We, were not, we were not even allowed to speak our country's language in schools. And they called the language, our con they called our own languages vernacular. So English was the <laughs> a real language you had to speak in school, so everything was English. With what we were taught in schools, nobody was thinking of whether to be African or not. We just accepted that we were English, and anybody that went to England for studies was a master, you know. So anybody that everybody wants to go to England, come back home to be master, you know, so. I never thought about it, uh, being African as such, you know. So it didn't mean anything to me until much later in my life. It was in England, I started to feel the, the awareness of having to be an African because for the first time I came to England, I started to feel, oh, wow. So these uh, white people don't, don't like, like us too much. You know, this is my experience from having to rent rooms, you know. I, I had so much. You, at that time, you read the newspapers in England. Um, house for rent, no colors, no dogs, and all this. That annoyed me a lot. And not many students, you know. So, at my my student days in England, I started to be aware of having to be an African. But we had nothing to offer as Africans because we were just taught English. Like one of the latest songs I'm singing now. I said, teacher, don't teach me nonsense, right? Now, I was trying to make, let's see my people see, because in Africa, people respect teachers. You know, teachers, because they teach English and they teach their pupils, you know. Respect teachers and rare pastors, you know, in Africa. So, okay, now I saw that I should not use teacher as my focus, so I said, I, I uh, titled the song, Teacher Don't Teach Me Nonsense. Now, I now wove the song into letting the people see that the white men have taught us everything we know. But I made people see also that one important thing they taught us was politics. Because I wove in, in the song to the elections in Nigeria, the because it was a farce. Hmm. Now I mentioned democracy. Now in English, an English man will say Demo democracy. But if the African man wants to say it in broken, he will say democracy. You see now. I never thought of the word. I said, demo, Chris, crazy. That's, now I saw craziness. I said I could not see my, let my people see that democracy really is not that word, that it's really madness, you know? So I said, now, now I started to sing. I said, I start to think of this word democracy. Democracy, crazy demo. Demonstration of craze, crazy demonstration. Then I went a little bit serious because I know that people will laugh at that when they hear that. Then I went a little bit serious. I said, "Now, I said if it's not crazy, why that in Africa, as time goes forward, things is getting worse. Poor man, they cry. Rich man, they mess." Democracy, crazy demo, demonstration of craze. Then I ended up, you know, to fuck the minds of the colonialists. Of I said, if a good teach, if say if good teacher teach something, if a good teacher teaches something, and a student make mistake, teacher must tell him that he's making mistake.